Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate elder. Elder grows very well in zones 3 through 8, and many of you already are aware of its medicinal use. It's used to help us fight off the flu, if we already have the flu, and protect us from getting it by boosting our immune system. We call it an elder bush, but it's really not bushy at all. If you take a look at the limb of the plant, it's actually just a limb that has tiny little areas where leaves come out. And from here, this will grow and it will bloom and the seeds and the berries will be from this area. So to make clones, it's very easy. You just cut areas and soak them in water. You'll see I just pulled this one out of the water. You can propagate it two ways, just by taking the cuttings and soaking them in water. This takes a little bit longer and you have to change the water about once a week. A lot of people reproduce their plants this way. But today I wanna to show you how to do it just by sticking the plant in some potting soil. Now, when we're talking about potting soil, it's very hard to determine what potting soil is gonna work best. I just normally pinch the bag. I want to feel a potting soil that doesn't have a lot of chunks in it. So this particular potting soil, I have actually mixed sand with it. And the reason that I am doing so is because I need a potting medium that is a little bit wet because it's just gonna expedite the process. So from the long stems that I collected off of what I call the mother plant, then I have just cut off smaller sections and I kind of scruffed up one side of the end of it. And I am just gonna really, it's simple. Place this in the soil. I'm gonna put two in here. And then I'm just gonna Tamp this down just to make sure that the plant is supported, but also that's going to take out any air pockets. So from there, and you'll see this one, you'll see the top. This is where it was cut off. So I've made, this was the bottom part. This was the top part. So I've got two cuttings here. Now here's where the fun part starts. I have already placed this in a plastic bag. So the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull this plastic bag up around the pot and I'm gonna make a mini greenhouse. I'm just recycling an old plastic bag. You just close it up. What I do, I do not close it all the way. I wanna have a little bit of airflow. I don't wanna have any kind of disease get in there. Then I'm gonna place this on a heating pad. A lot of people use heat mats for rooting. I just use a regular old heating pad. I put it on there when it cycles out, then it's fine. What I wanna do is just keep it warm and I put it in a sunny location. So what I also wanna do, show you very quickly is when you're doing your cuttings, if you're gonna go, if you have a, a bush that you're gonna make a cutting from, you need to take a little container of water with you. Otherwise, it's gonna get sad and it's going to wilt a little bit. I'm hopeful that this one will kind of perk up, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not gonna try the soil method with this one. I'm gonna keep it in the water to keep it as hydrated as possible. So from there, I'm gonna show you a plant that's already rooted. Now you'll see I have four babies in here. One, two, three, four. But this one doesn't look like anything's going on. Well, plants are like people. We don't all run the same race at the same time and we don't all finish the same. This little plant, to know that it's rooted and it's in the process of rooting, I'm tugging on it right now and it's not letting go. So that tells me those roots are in there, but it just hasn't started developing the little green buds like its sister plant has. So don't give up on this one just because it looks like it's dead. Don't give up on it. Now, when it's time to actually take these out 
and plant them, we're going to do what we call hardening off. And so when you harden off a plant, this is very delicate because it has been inside and it's been loved and talked to and it just is wonderful in the environment that it's in right now. But when I take it out into the big bad world, it's windy, the sun is hot, it's kind of colder than it is right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, quote, harden it off. I'm going to put it in an area where it's not full sun, but it's going to get a little bit of exposure to the wind and to the sun, and I'm not going to keep it out there all day. I'm going to put it off a little bit at a time, or I'm going to put it in an area where there's some kind of shade and maybe a little bit of wind protection. Because if I put this out and plant it right now, the way that it is, it will get what we call sunburned. And the leaves will die and all of my hard work will be for nothing. So I hope that you give elder a chance if you're in grown, the growing areas three through eight. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching.